the topic for today is test of uh, divisibility or divisibility rules now let's first see what are exactly divisibility rules now a divisibility rule or a divisibility test is a rule for determining whether one whole number is divisible by another or not supposing children say it's a huge number so if i ask you whether that number is divisible by 3 or not what do you do generally you divide and check physically you know so it takes a little bit of time but using these divisibility rules you can say whether that big number is divisible by 3 or not within few seconds that is the beauty of these divisibility tests and for each number the divisibility test is different and it's a quick way to find factors of very large numbers now each number has a specific test to verify whether the number is divisible or not now let's start with divisibility by 2 the very simplest one so a number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits 0 2 4 6 or 8 in its ones place what does this mean when there is a number you see the last digit or the digit which is in the ones place okay and if that digit is 0 2 4 6 or 8 then the whole number even if it's a very big number that number will be divisible by 2 that is when we divide the remainder will be zero uh, here the example you know he has given you simple examples i have given you 30 52 144 144 all these are divisible by 2 because you can see the digit in ones place is zero here in 30 2 and 52 and 4 in 144 now coming to the next divisibility by 3 a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 what does this mean let's check with the example you see here 30 how many digits are there in 30 two digits 3 and 0 so what you do is you add these digits 3 plus 0 so the sum is 3 and the sum is divisible by 3 so hence 30 is also divisible by 3 see this number is pretty simple one okay and then you say take 63 6 plus 3 9 so 9 is a multiple of 3 hence 63 is also divisible by 3 So don't you think it's very simple children it's pretty simple you can try it out with large numbers you know it's really fun see there are some more examples which are given here 32523 whether it's divisible by 3 or not so what do you do take the sum of all the digits here 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 so that sums up to 15 so 15 is divisible by 3 hence 32 Thousand five twenty three is also divisible by three. Now, test of divisibility by four. A number with three or more digits is divisible by four if the number formed by its last two digits is divisible by four. So here the example you see four thousand five hundred twenty. So the last two digits are twenty. Twenty is divisible by four. So four thousand five twenty is also divisible by four. Now see this uh, big number. Ninety-five lakh twenty-four thousand six twenty-four. It is divisible by four or not? Obviously, the last two digits are twenty-four, so which is a multiple of four. Hence, this number is also divisible by four. The easiest one, children. Test of divisibility by five. Just check the last digit. If the last digit is zero or five, that is the digit in the ones place. Okay, then the whole number. How much ever big it is, it will be divisible by five. Coming to the next number six, very interesting. A number is divisible by six if the number is divisible by both two and three. So it should satisfy the divisibility test of two also and three. Not that it will satisfy only two and then not three. Then that number will not be divisible by six. Okay. For example, each number eighteen, twenty four, thirty six. You know, these are the numbers which are multiples of both two and three. So they are also multiples of six. Now the most interesting one: the divisibility by seven. A number is divisible by seven if the difference between the twice the ones digit and the number formed by the other digits is either zero or multiple of seven. What does this mean? Now six thousand eight hundred four. Let's check whether it is divisible by seven or not. So 
go to the last digit so it is 4 make it double 4 into 2 8 and what are the other three digits which are left 680 and take out this 8 that is 4 into 2 8 from this number which is formed 680 minus 8 so you will get 672 which is divisible by 7 therefore we can say that 6804 is also divisible by 7 you can try with some other numbers by yourself coming to the next number 8 a number with 4 or more digits is divisible by 8 if the number formed by its last 3 digits ok but in 4 what did we see it was the last 2 digits in 8 it is the last 3 digits it should be divisible by 8 79152 ok we have to see whether it is divisible by 8 or no so what do we do check the last 3 digits that is 152 so 152 is divisible by 8 therefore 79152 is also divisible by 8 test of divisibility by 9 children this is exactly same as the test of divisibility of 3 right so what do you do do you remember the divisibility rule of 3 so add all the digits see whether the sum is the multiple of 9 or no yes if it is a multiple of 9 then the big number here in this case we see 65403 that is also divisible by 9 so the divisibility test for 3 and 9 are same 10 the favorite one of everyone so a number is divisible by 10 if it has a 0 in one's place for example you can see this so this is the most easiest one and the best one I think no okay now the divisibility rule by 11 a number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits at the odd places and sum of the digits in the even places of the number is either 0 or divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11 so for example what 121 132 these are all divisible by 11 now I'll explain you this with an example see this huge number 73854 so starting from the right side what you do is you take the sum of all the digits which are placed in odd places okay so 4 8 and 7 they are placed in the odd places that is first third and fifth places so the sum is 19 and sum of the digits in the even places is 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8 now take out the difference of these sums 19 minus 8 so the difference is 11 and 11 is a multiple of 11 obviously so we can say that 73854 is also divisible by 11 children you have to be careful with one thing in this test that is normally children tend to get confused in these odd places please remember at times like in this case 4 is an even number ok 4 is an even number but it is placed in the odd place odd place ka matlab kya hai that is in the first place right starting from your right side ok so 4 8 8 is also even number but where is it placed it is in the third place so 4 plus 8 plus 7 so please be careful about only this thing in divisibility rule of 11 thank you